Thank you. Um, I'd like to present you Metanetics MNX-REF. It's a resource for systems biology and metabolomics. I will give you uh, some first a little introduction about genome scale metabolic networks. The, these are complicated objects that you can represent as graphs. And typically, you have five types of nodes in these objects, you have metabolites that are chemical species in subcellular compartments. You have uh, biochemical reaction. The metabolites together with the reactions are um, forming a bipartite graph. And this bipartite graph is decorated with enzyme made of protein and you can go to the genomic level. Uh, to explain genome scale metabolic network, I always think that the cartoon network view is extremely useful. Here you have a tiny network with a different cellular compartments, one artificial reaction, which is the growth reaction, and uh, using techniques like flux balance analysis, you can simulate such network and for example, uh, demonstrate that it's possible to produce biomass given the growth medium. Uh, once you have a model that works like this, you can start to use it as a predictive tool. And for example, you can modify the model uh, by simulating a reaction knockout and you run again the simulation. And in that case, you will conclude that you can still produce biomass and that this reaction is non-essential. To give you just another example, we can remove that reaction, run the simulation, and in that case, you will not able to produce the biomass. And the prediction of the model is that the reaction is essential. Essentiality of the reaction is something you can test against experimental data, and it's really were this type of model. You can validate the model against experimental data, or you can uh, start doing uh, in silico engineering on that basis. Uh, another pro the point really to realize here, it's having a model that's on with which you can do a simulation is essential. And it's somehow, this is a re really brittle object, because by just changing or removing a few reaction, in fact, you can destroy it. Uh, going to the real model, here I put in, in the first column the, the statistics uh, for the cartoon network, and the, the other two columns, it's a, it's a high quality model for Escherichia coli, and a, and, a, and a recent model for the Chinese hamster ovary cells, and you can see that the real the, the objects that are meaningful biologically are rather large. Uh, the key in this story is the connectivity in the network. And uh, to, to create this connectivity, uh, we can do it by defining a proper set of metabolites. And eight years ago, when we started working on this, uh, we realized that published models from different groups or, or biochemical pathways from different databases were using different uh, identifiers. They were incompatible. And many times, the, the, the link to the chemical structure were missing. Um, so it was the, the basis uh, of the metanetics reconciliation I will show you in the next slide. In addition, I'd like to draw your attention that in this model, usually you have artificial reaction, you have hypothetical reaction, you have orphan reaction that, that are required to have the, the model functioning as that you will not necessarily retrieve in, in biochemistry database. Creating such a model, uh, you can summarize it, uh, consider all known biochemical pathway, and creating the model is something like extracting some subgraph. And there is three challenges to this. The first one is the algorithmic challenge, how, how you select a set of reaction given an organism proteome. The second set 
is how to represent this reaction to ensure they are properly connected. The last one is how to validate the model against experimental data. And I think this week it's rather the second challenge, which is uh, the focus. Uh, the reconciliation, we try to put together uh, all the different resources uh, that are on these slides. The, the number is growing. It's a mixture of uh, metabolite database, reaction database, and, uh, for example, the Go ontology. Uh, an example of an automated reconciliation, for example, for malonyl coa uh, we have combined uh, evidence from the molecular structure. We have also considered the context of the metabolites, which is typically the, re the reaction. Uh, now, this Metanetics MNX ref database, uh, we are working in cl close collaboration with uh, the REA team uh, at SwissProt, and we are trying to use the KB, but we have two resources in parallel because the, the constraint, uh, the objective is not exactly the same. And I'll try to summarize on this slide the, the, different, uh, the difference between the, the two, reaction, the two uh, resources. Uh, the hackathon proposal, um, in fact, I have all, all these data are available uh, as uh, tab delimited files, all of these data, uh, and, and the idea was to, to, to push all this data toward the open data world. Uh, and to do this uh, using uh, the, the framework, for example, provided by HAMAP, which is uh, quite in advance in, in this respect. I also, okay, I tell you that all is available from the website. Okay. And I uh, thank you. It's, I'm sorry. It's, uh, thank you for the invitation uh, at the ACAT. Thank you.